I'm Imogenie with Imogenie's Science and Magic. Where science looks like magic until you understand. With us today are Malala, Maya, and Jeanette. Is this magnet that I have hanging from a string? See how it's pointing? It's got north and south. And over here we have a compass pointing north and south. So what does that tell you about this metal stick inside the compass? It's a magnet? Yeah, exactly. Magnets can push or pull each other before they touch. Magnetic fields go through the air. The needle in the compass keeps pointing the same direction even though you're spinning. The magnet in the compass responds to a magnetic field. Like if you connect the same color end to the same color end, it, it resists from going to the same, to the um, same end. Yeah, it's called repelling. You're right. It's exactly what it's doing. Iron filings show the shape of the field. The field is strongest at the ends. I'm going to be shaking iron filings, steel filings, over each of these magnets on the table so that we can see where the iron filings get attracted. And I sure to make some like stick that's out right. like that. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's the shape of the field. It's, it's sticking out and it kind of curves around here. And if you look at it, every single one of them does the very same mm -hmm. thing. But what do you think would happen if we broke these magnets? They would go in different um, places. They would go over to one, each separate magnet. Well, let's find out. These are breakable magnets. You pick up a magnet and snap it, just like a chocolate bar, and put the two pieces of magnet down on the paper again. Put them down far enough apart that we can see what happens when we shake the iron filings on. Yeah. So when we broke the magnet, what really happened? And they just separated it. They, they, you just broke it, but then they did the same thing from before when it was a hole. Each piece of the magnet has a north and south pole. But if you think about it, what you've been looking at here. These magnets attract, they repel, when we bring them near each other. But as you saw earlier, that hanging magnet and the magnet in the compass are pointing the same way. What are they being attracted by? What do you think it's pointing at? Uh, north? Well, it's got two ends. That the north one might be pointing north, but what's the south one doing? Straight south. What attracts a magnet? That's exactly right. So what other magnet is attracting that one? What's making it point like that? Um, is either the magnets that we have on this or that or the fillings? If we take all these away, we can do that. Let's just take all these away. Let's just get everybody over here. That compass isn't going to quit working. If, if you're out in the woods and you've got that compass, you think it's going to quit working? It's... no. Compasses don't do that. So what... Anywhere you go on this the planet... Like, what? Is it like the... Like, this I'm just taking a guess here. Good. Like, this is up the Earth? Yes! Yes, it's in the Earth. The Earth is a magnet. You're absolutely right. And the Earth has a three-dimensional magnetic field show you how that works. A bunch of magnetic filings in the bottom of this bottle. And I just put the cow magnet in the test tube. I can put the test tube in the bottle. And I'm going to wrap it with this plastic to try to keep them from escaping. So I can shake it. Wow. So now, this is the same sort of thing that you saw when we put the iron filings on your magnet here. But this is in three dimensions. This is the shape of the magnetic field that you see on the Earth. Here's a drawing of Earth's magnetic field by Professor Gary Glatzmeyer at the University of California, Santa Cruz. William Gilbert first explained Earth's magnetic field in his book On the Magnet in 1600. I'm Imogenie for Imogenie Science and Magic. If you see something that looks like magic, design an experiment. See if you can make it happen again. Imogenie is filmed at the Book Corner in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania.